I want to start this video off of this. Joseph Smith 7087 said in one of my videos under the comments, black culture, embarrassed by nothing, yet offended by everything. On The Breakfast Club, there was an interview with Michael Rubin, right? Michael Rubin, I mean, I'll be real with you. I'm not sure what Michael Rubin does or how he got his wealth. I just know that he throws these all white parties. So he had an interview on The Breakfast Club and he says something that to me was very mild and also he was right. Michael Rubin said, it's too much hate in black culture, like black on black hate in black culture. And we say this all the time, crabs in the barrel mentality, right? So let's get straight to the video. Michael Rubin on The Breakfast Club. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check the full interview out in its entirety. And excuse my voice, I have a cold, right? So excuse my voice, I'm getting over a cold. But let's get to this video. That is the one thing I've learned about, you know, look, I'm just being blunt because it's me. So one thing I've learned about black culture that I don't like is that black hate on hate. Speak on that more. I heard you say that earlier, and I wanted you to expound on that. You said yeah, you don't yeah. like to see black people tearing down other black people. Yeah, it's horrible. Okay. Like, why, like it's horrible. Like, why, like I want to support every. Look, you got two. Of you guys know me pretty well. Mm -hmm. Anything I can ever help with, I'm always there. Mm -hmm. I always want to be helpful. I feel lucky and fortunate to do what I do every day. To be as, you know, whatever success I've had, I feel blessed to do that. And I want to give back in every way I can. You know, in business and in, in charitable things, I'm always trying to be helpful. Like. Why does someone want to bring somebody else down? Let's try to build everybody up. Like, you know, I, I, I'd be more excited if, you know, if I'd be more excited to see one of my friends do something that's 99% less meaningful to me, but it would be really meaningful to them because I want them to do great. I want everyone around mm -hmm. me to do great. Mm -hmm. I don't like watching, you know, there's a little bit, and you tell me, you guys correct me if you think I'm wrong. I think there's a little bit of a black culture of like, it's black hate on hate. It's like that black judge that Meek had that hated on him and want to put in, go extra hard on him, okay? It's like, I like it's what people always say to me, it's like black hate on hate. And, and so I think it's terrible. Um, I think it's something that it's, I think it's culturally wrong. And I, I'll probably get killed for saying this because you know, you're, you know. I'm, I'm glad you're guy. saying it openly. If this yeah. is the conversations that are being had. I have had it all the time. With amongst, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I want to hear this. Yeah, I so, so I, I think it's wrong. I think like, why do you not want to build everyone up around you? Why do you not want everyone around you to do great? The best way for, everyone to do great is to push each other up okay i'm always pushing everyone around me it's why i spend you know a quarter of my days all right so that's the end of the clip right like i said i put a link in the description so you can see it in its entirety what was wrong with that if he's saying he don't want to see black people hating on black people when people should work together instead of competing what's the issue you know what i'm saying what's the issue and i'll be real with you when I started doing YouTube, I did black on reviews. Then one of the reasons why I stopped doing black on reviews is because people would be in my inbox is like, why are you supporting that company over mine? Why are you promoting that company over my company? Why are you talking about them? Even though they don't know the relationship I have with this person. I've got plenty of DMs about that on my Instagram. So I'm trying to build up black companies and I'm getting people who have other companies hating on other companies saying that I should do that for them and not for other people, even though I could do it for all of them. Right. I mean, if you want to go back to it, like talk about collaborating. I did a collab with Ashley. You know what I'm saying? She had a black owned platform talking about black products. I was actually working with them behind the scenes, building a whole black owned platform. Well, uh, website. So, collaborating everybody wins everybody eats what did jay-z said nobody wins when the family feuds so why are we upset about somebody that's outside the community or outside the culture or i guess got invited to the cookout and want to speak on the culture why we get upset about something that is so profound and what is it is it the messenger you bad him you mad because he said it i mean charlemagne said right there i'm glad you're speaking on this I'm glad you're speaking on this openly. And I agree with Charlemagne. I'm glad you're speaking on this. You guys get upset about anybody who say anything, right? That's why I started to quote with this great comment that I love. Like, I might make this my screensaver. Like, <laughs> black culture, embarrassed by nothing, yet offended by everything. So you mad at who said it, right? And what if somebody from the culture said it? Or somebody that's black that said it, right? You could have who? Dr. Uma Johnson said, oh, 
Why are you saying that? You could have had rest in peace Kevin Samuel say something. Oh, I don't like his message. Oh, Candace Owens, I don't like her message. We could go to somebody milder. Steve Harvey say things. Oh, why he saying that? I remember when Bill Cosby said something, I was mad about it. So who could say anything about black culture? I mean, I get comments. Why am I speaking on this? In my social media, on my YouTube, on my TikTok, on my Instagram, on people saying, why am I speaking on things? You know, the problem is you don't care about the message or the messenger. You just don't want to be course corrected. You, you like your uncouth behavior. You like to be ratchet. You like to jump on uh, Nissan Altima's and twerk. And you don't want to be course corrected. Or you don't want to work with each other. You know what I'm saying? Work with each other. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Why? You got to compete. And I'm going to go to some, some tweets that was uh, presented because of this. Because one, Michael Rubin had to put an apology out. So let's pull this up first, right? So Michael Rubin said, I got a phone call from one of the people I have the most respect for in the world. They told me while they appreciate my intention, it's not my place to speak on black culture. I get it. And I really appreciate the input. My intention was to say how important it is that we need to lift each other up, stop hate on each other and push each other to win and always root for each other's success. My bad. Much love and appreciate the feedback. Heart heart at the Breakfast Club fam at DJ Envy. At Charlemagne the God and at Lauren LaRosso, right? He had to pull apology out there because y'all can't take mild criticism, let alone <laughs> he's right, right? We talk about crabs in the barrel all the time. So something that mild you can't speak about. And I want to pull another tweet up, right? So we're going to just pull another tweet up from Isaac Hayes III, right? Founder of fan base. He said what Mike Rubin said was right. Building wealth in the black community is looked as looked at as competition, not collaboration. If I bought a deal where I would make $50 million and another black man would make $10 million, I know several black men that wouldn't do the deal. But if Michael Rubin would make 50 million and they make 10 million, they would do the deal. Argue with yourself. We do not want to build each other up at times. We don't. You know what I'm saying? I've been critical of Isaac Hayes saying that I think it's a bad idea that he's very political and he's building a platform for social media. Whereas I feel like, you know, him building this platform on social media or building a, a social media platform, excuse me, and he's being political, he's pushing away people who perhaps may lean a different way politically. But I still post on fan base. I still put content on fan base because of what Isaac Hayes is doing, I think is important. So I put my content on fan base as well. I do that. Follow my fan base if you guys are on fan base. I do that. But let's go to some other comments, right? Let's go to this comment right here. That I found on X. That's what happened when you invite these people to the cookout. We got to have a conversation about this cookout, man. I'm going to do a, a podcast episode about the cookout. Let me know. Um, make sure you follow. Wherever you find me at, make sure you follow me. So we had a conversation about the cookout. Another comment right here. My, Michael Rubin can't say anything about black people because black people can't say shit about Jews without starting World War Three. Case closed. Next topic. He said, I don't want to see black people hating on black people. But your thing is, Black people can't say shit about Jews. Is it the message or the messenger? Because y'all have a problem with both. Y'all have a problem with both. This man said he don't want to see black people hating on black people. And black people have a problem with that. Shout out to Rogan. This became and gal. We did an episode talk about the global impact of negative black culture. The episode's going to come out soon. Make sure you follow the movement. But we talked about this. We talked about how people really don't care about the message or the messenger. They just want to be, they just want to do what they do continuously. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments, man. I appreciate you guys. All right, man, until next time. Peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right, later. One.